What is up guys, Link's Warlord Gaming here, and welcome to episode 47 of Ark Survival Evolved. You know, it, it feels so weird finally coming, ba coming back to Ark after not making any Ark videos for so long. It feels so weird finally coming back to it. Yeah, I, for I forgot Crouch's right stick instead of uh, left stick. But before I announce the thing that I wanted to do in this video, I was gonna... I actually thought of a funny thing to do is rename some of the dinosaurs that don't have a custom name, just have a default name. But I'm not going to go with the real name, I'm just going to go with something that's just just meant to be a joke. Something like... Ujass? Like that? Yep, that works. There we go. I currently have my... My dog is just laying on my bed right now. I, I don't know if she wants to get down or not, because she's just kind of staring at the ground right now, but I'll just leave her to be. Let's see, Mega... Yeah, the Megaloceros doesn't have a name. Crap. Options. Change name. Let's see, what should I do for this one? There we go. Mike. First name Mike. Last name Hawk. Now you could probably sound these out. If you want. Really? <laughs> what about Mike Ox Oxlon? What about Mike Oxlon? That doesn't. Are you serious? <laughs> Alright, Barry. Probably sound that one out. That doesn't work. Hold on, just a uh, uh, tray. Just a normal name. Okay, so so it is censoring those names. Let's see. What if I try and go to a female that doesn't have a name yet? Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, options. Change name. First name Dixie. First name Dixie, last name Normus. You could probably sound that one out. That doesn't work. Oh, I want to have these cool fake names, but they're not letting me use them. I mean, huge ass worked. Uh, go back to the Megaloceros options. Oh, I don't know if my dog's trying to get down or not. Uh, let's see, what's another good fake name? Uh, here, what about Mike Ro Dick? Mike Ro Dick. That, yeah, that, oh my god. What about Oliver? Close off. Can, can I get one? All I got was Hugh Jess, and that was it. Uh, what's another name? I did Oxlong, Hawk, Rodick. What else is there? Uh, Dixon. Why is it censoring that? It's not a... I mean, it's just a name. I don't know. I, I, like, I thought the, these would be able to slip past the system. But no. I, mean, I guess the developers got smart. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Or here, maybe I, I could try wording it differently. Mike 0 X L 0 and that's, that still doesn't work. I want to get one more good name in, because I've only gotten one. Uh, Doctor... Ben... Dover. 
after bend over. Is that gonna, even that doesn't work. Come on. I would have thought at least more than one. Okay, let's see. Let's go with a little more subtle. Not really subtle, but just kind of a more appropriate. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, she just jumped off the bed. Yeah, so now, now she's... The thing my dog does is that when she... When she wants to stay in my room, like, she'll just lay down or something, or she'll jump on the bed, and then when she's done, she either jumps down on the bed or she walks towards the door, and then she just sits down. Yeah, she sits down or she lays down near the door and she just starts whining. So I'm probably going to have to make a cut in the video to go let her out. Let's see, huge anus. Is that going to work? Okay, that works. That's fine. Huge anus. Uh... I just thought of another one. That's probably not. It's probably gonna get censored. It's another one with you. Uh, you. J. Long. Huge long. <laughs> it's supposed to say huge slong. That's what it's supposed to say. And that doesn't even work. I don't know. That might might not. Have, it doesn't even flow that well. So I got huge ass and huge anus. What else can I do? Huge ass, huge anus, huge ass, huge anus. I'm trying to think. Uh, Dick's Insider doesn't work. Uh, Dick's Enormous doesn't work. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? It's pretty much all the fake names I can think of. Oh, here we go. Uh, I mean, this one's not really appropriate, it's just funny. Uh, first name Al, and last name... Kaholic. Oh, listen, you're... You're walking over my cables. Alright, j j just sit by the door. First name Al, last name Kaholic. There we go. That one works out, that one's a little more subtle. And more appropriate. Uh, Al Kaholic. Uh, I got another one. There, what is, what's going on with your trunk? Oh, did it, okay, it fixed itself. Okay, the mammoth doesn't have a name, but, right, I think I'll actually use a real name for that one. Uh, hmm. I have alcoholic, um, you know what, I'll just go with this one. I'll just go with Rex. Options, change name, uh, Jacques, Jacques Strap, Jacques Strap, there we go, that one works, uh, now what is, I, I could use one that has like, just two letters, and it's like kind of a, the two letters make up the person's first name, God, there's a little bit of lag. I might just try and use the mammoth. I did have a, I did have a normal name in mind, but if this one works, then I'll just use this one. First initial I, second initial P, space last name, freely. Yeah, that doesn't even. I P freely. That doesn't, it's not even inappropriate, it's just funny. Oh my god. I can't even get, I can't get any fun. I, I got huge ass and huge anus, and that's it. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I mean, this, this one is, isn't even subtle at all at hiding it. This probably won't even work because it's a male dinosaur. Yeah, that doesn't work, and I, I, I didn't even try hiding that at all. Um, what else is there? What else is there? What else is there? Yeah, that's pretty much all of my names. 
Jacques Strap worked. Alcoholic worked. Eugenus who just worked. Um, what else is there? Uh, I mean, this one's probably not going to work at all because pretty much you're just spacing out the words, but I'll try it anyway. First name, Homer. Last name, I'll try putting a dollar sign in there. Homer, sexual. And that does it. Come on. I even tried hiding it with a dollar sign. I mean, that's pretty much all of my names. Oh, I, I got another Mike one. First name Mike. Uh, please work. Mike Roach. Come on. Come on, why? Okay, so it's... So those are pretty much all the names I can think of. There are probably more fake names that I could probably just look up and use. But anyways, the thing I wanted to... Yeah, so why are so many, so many of my dinos just glitching out today? Anyways, the thing I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to, I wanted to tame a, a dino that kind of looks similar to the trike, or the, the triceratops, as it it's now called in the new update. Or actually, the update that happened quite a while ago. Yeah, I think it was around like episode 4 or 3 of the series. Anyways, putting that aside, a, a dino that's kind of similar in look to the trike, or, yeah, I'm just going to call it a trike, because I started playing this game way before it was called a triceratops. I'm just going to... where did it go? Right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to call it a trike. It looks similar. The dino that I want to tame looks similar to a trike. And it is called the Pachyrhinosaurus. I think it's called... it. It doesn't really have sharp, sharp horns like a trike, but it kind of has like little small horns around the crest on its head. And one of the special abilities that it has is that it can release a sort of, I think it's like just some sort of gas it releases from its body, but it scares off predators, I think. I think that's what it does. It, it, well, it scares off some sort of dino. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's just you, the gas is used to scare off predators. That's uh, that's a good, uh, handy thing to use. Like I don't know, say if you're I don't know, just making a, a a supply run for some sort of resource, and you have like a really valuable dino you don't want to lose, you just hop on your packy right now, release the gas, and all the predators go away. But I don't really want to use berries because I mean I have vegetables available that I can use. Those are more, they give a higher taming effectiveness. There's more fertilizer for that one, that's probably a mistake. But it, these vegetables, like the potatoes, the carrots, the corn, the lemons, well, lemons are fruit, but you know what I mean. But these other foods that are not berries, they have a higher taming effectiveness than berries. So I want to kind of start, I want to try and start to sort of break away from using berries and use vegetables, fruit and vegetables, because I have those available. Very good emphasis in that herd that can maybe add to the collection. Uh, wild female level 12, level 16 female. Uh, here, I'll move. America to the side, so I can get a better view. Wild male level 12. Wild female level 12. Wild male... Am I reading this right? Wild male unicorn. Le oh, huh? What? I, I didn't even plan for this. I was... In intending to go for a Pachyrhinosaurus. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they... I'm gonna try and tame this thing right now. Okay, uh, screw the Pachyrhinosaurus. I I'm going for this fucking unicorn. Whistle passive. I gotta find it again. Is that, is that it right there? Pronto, can you move? Yeah, wild male, male unicorn, level 6. Alright, I have it in my last slot. 
I'm going to try and tame this thing. Alright, come on. right there. A majestic beast. Come on. There you go, it's stopping. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh my god, if I... Lucy, this is not a good time to be whining. And if I could crouch walk any faster, that would be nice. I don't even know, what is the probability of this thing spawning? I also gotta make sure I don't spook the other equuses, the other normal equuses, because they might, they might start a chain reaction and spook the unicorn. I can't even remember, am I able to pick this thing up with an RG? I can't remember. I probably am. But, I think it's better to just tame it the normal way right here. Got a bit of frame drop right there. I mean, I don't even want to stand up and start, like, moving normally towards it, because then it's going to spook, it's probably going to spook the, the normal equus to my right, or to the unicorn's right, and it's going to start a chain reaction and spook the unicorn. Okay, there we go. Now I can probably get some, get some distance. God, this, this other equus is going to screw me over. And then we're back to just following it. Maybe... There we go. Lucy, sh shut up. Please. Oh my god, c c c could I crouch walk any faster? Like, I just want the ability to move quieter, but also move more, also move faster. Oh, there we go. Damn it. I feel like this thing walks faster than I walk crouch walking. Come on. Jesus. Stop. Get away from me. Other oh, normal equus. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, stop. 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 <laughs> Please. Okay. So what I originally thought was gonna, I thought it was, because how you usually tame an equus is that you feed it a carrot, and then it's like you start some writing sequence, and it'll start like but or it'll just start running around aimlessly like uh, how you write a pig in Minecraft without a carrot on a stick. It's kind of like that. It'll just run around aimlessly, and then like every, I don't know, probably. D d d depending on how fast your taming speed is. I thought like maybe on a normal on a normal taming speed. I don't, I don't know what the normal taming speed is because I have mine all the way up to 6.0. That's probably why I didn't even go into a writing sequence. But, like maybe, I don't know, if I were to guess, maybe every two minutes it'll start bucking and you have to feed it another carrot before it throws you off and you have to start the whole process over again. But I don't, I don't even know how this thing spawned. I don't even know the probability. How rare is this thing? I wasn't even cutting to announce something. I, I, like when I, when I cut to when I cut to this part, it, it's it was literally just me going like like just singing because I was like trying to entertain myself when I was on my way to the to the Packy Rhino, and um, I just see a herd of Equus, and I'm like, oh. Are there maybe any more Equus that I could, or like high level Equus that I can add to the collection? Maybe expand the stables a little bit? Maybe like put some Equus in the middle? And I, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna have to, when I'm editing this, I'm probably gonna roll back. Oh crap, I'm dehydrated. When I'm editing this and I'm going through the tape, okay, I don't have my canteen with. Lucy, shut up! I don't have my canteen with me. Right now, so I'm just gonna try and pick this guy up. Come on, let me. There we go. Okay, so now I'm I'm, I'm just gonna fl quickly fly back and get some water, cause I'll I'll just 
I don't even know how... Like, I didn't even plan for this. Like, I was just planning on taming a Pachygranosaurus, and then all of a sudden this guy shows up. Here, I, I'm just gonna cut till I get back to the base. I get some water in, because if I start talking... Because if I just stand around and start talking, I'm gonna die of dehydration. Oh no, it's glitching out again. There we go. Alright, so we're finally back at the base. I was able to hydrate myself, and... I didn't even know this was in the game. Like, I was literally just on... I, I was, like, singing to myself on my way to try and find a packy rhino, and I'm, and I'm basically kind of rewording what I said before I cut the video. But I was just singing to myself, I see a herd of equus, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, or I'm just going to write it over to the, to the staples. And it has a really bad turning radius, though. If I ride it over to the stables, I was thinking, huh, maybe I could add another Equus to the other stable, or maybe have an Equus in this middle section right here, or just somewhere else. So that's what my thoughts were. I was thinking maybe I could just get another high-level Equus that I could maybe just add to the collection. I'm, I'm probably going to roll back the tape in my editing program just to see. I probably missed it. I, like... When I was just going through, just looking, I, I'm assuming at least once I just kind of looked past this because I, I just I probably thought it was just a white equus. But I mean, does this thing even have any stripes? It doesn't even have any stripes, but, and it's not like it's just called equus and it's just a rare form of equus. It's literally, it has its own name. It's called a unicorn. Hold on, I haven't even checked its stats. What are its oh, kind of like normal equus stats the horn. What I would find pretty funny, and w what would be pretty awesome, is that, you know the bite move that a normal Equus has? I think it would be hilarious, it would be awesome, if if the unicorn does more damage with that because it has its horn. And also something that I've always wondered, it, it, it's probably not genetically possible, but if you were to take DNA from like a white, er, not a white horse, but just kind of like, just to kind of get started, because you probably won't be able to get like an, like this kind of unicorn on the first try. That was a really loud notification on my computer. Okay, Lucy, can you not step over my cable? Just go wait by the door. I'll, I'll, I'll let you out when I'm done. Go, go. Don't stand over my cables. I don't trust you. You might eat something. Right. And she, she's sitting down on my... Okay. So what, what I always wondered, I was thinking it's probably not genetic, genetically possible, but if you were to take DNA from a horse and DNA from a narwhal, would you be able to artificially make a unicorn? I am saying it's probably genetically impossible, but it's just something that I've always wondered. I, I don't even know where I'm going to put this. I mean, I guess I'll just put them in here. In the... God, that turning radius is terrible. Oh my god. I don't even think a normal Equus... I think a normal Equus has a better turning radius. Yeah, I got... I, I'm like... I'm almost like every half set Or every second... I'm looking down at Lucy to make sure like... I should probably end this right now. Because if, she, if, she, if she's laying down on my cables... She might disconnect something. And I'll lose the recording. Let's see. Right trigger. Oh, that's kind, that's kind of the normal... Oh, there we go. Oh, you can step. That's like a headbutt. I wonder if the normal Equus has that, or if it just has the bite. That is fucking awesome. You can stab people with your horn. All right. Le yeah, left trigger is just a normal don horse donkey kick. That's okay. Lucy, stop wandering around. Sit down. There you go. Good girl. Alright, in on the left stick, doesn't do anything. In on the right stick, there we go. Good old horse rear. Let's see, from what angle would that look the best? There we go, that looks pretty good. He has another level. That's not his level, that's my level. Probably want to get to what I get his health, what I have the other Equus' health, that was about maybe 2,000, 2,000 health. Alright, but that, that'll do it for the... No! 
you know, oh, my controller. My, con oh. my controller nearly screwed me over. I have a problem with this controller. Is that sometimes it just decides it wants to move the left stick up, even though I'm not even touching it. And sometimes I'll just be at the edge right here, and the left stick just decides it wants to move up. Yep, see, I, I didn't even, I didn't touch it right there. I didn't touch it right there. But it still decided to move up. See, I won't get on the edge of the cliff. I won't get on the edge of the cliff. But I'll get pretty close. Alright, now let's see, does it have the same... Alright, yeah, it pretty much has the same angle. Alright, that'll do it for... Okay, Lucy, just stay there. That'll do it for this episode of Ark Survival Evolved. In the next episode, I'm probably going to actually try and go after a Pachyrhinosaurus. I'll probably actually try and go after a Pachyrhinosaurus. I am probably going to have to research a whole lot of things, because I don't even know the probability of this thing spawning, because I didn't even know it was in the game. So it was probably really, really rare. But, I mean, just even finding this, like... I mean, I don't, I don't know if the normal Equus has the headbutt. I'll probably have to look later. But that's awesome because it's, it, even if it's just supposed to be a normal headbutt animation, it looks really cool because it looks like you're stabbing. You, you're trying to go for a stab with the horn. Okay. Lucy, get get off the cables. All right, here, I, I, I'm just going to end the video here. This is Link's Warlord Gaming saying so long and bye bye <laughs>